Hey everyone, it's High Tech Man here. Today we're going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 6 point whatever device. Evasion team has finally come out with a brand new jailbreak. As you can see here, you can go on to evasion.com. I'll put a link in the description, but it's very simple, very easy. You just select your operating system. In my case, it would be Mac OS X. It would start downloading the application and what you basically need to do is uh, make sure, of course, that you're running iOS 6 point uh, whatever. It can be work on any uh, firmware, but it will work up to right now, which is 6.1. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some things that you can do in order to have a clean install or it won't really have any major problems for your installation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my iPad. You see here I already have these settings pulled up. And what you wanna do is if you're running the uh, 6.0 or 6.0.1, Go ahead and just go into the manual install now, the, uh, the uh, over the air update. Go ahead and do that. It's completely safe to do that. You don't need to uh, go to your computer and put in those updates manually through the computer through the wire for as far as updating it. Uh, but if you did jailbreak using the untethered jailbreak, make sure that you're gonna have to reformat the whole uh, iPad, iPod touch, phone, whatever you're using. You're gonna have to do a full format on that. And of course, I'll put a link down in the description below where you can find the uh, proper links for that. But as you can see now on the iPad, it's already installing the update. I'll go ahead and fast forward that. That way we get to the point to where we can see it's 6.1, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so now you'll see that your iPad is booted up into iOS 6. Go ahead and slide to unlock it. Just hit continue. It'll say please select a Wi-Fi network. If you're already connected, just hit next. Um, hit continue. Start using your iPad. And now you can see you're here at 6.1 operating system. Just go ahead and show you real quickly. Of course, you can see there that I'm at 6.1. And go ahead and go ahead and uh, hit the home button. You can, you can see here, now everything on the iPad is done. Uh, as far as updating it, uh, if you have any problems there, you can always leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me on Twitter, I'll be able to more than willing to find stuff and help you out there. So our next thing is we're gonna go on our computer, we're gonna download our version of Evasion. So basically you can either download the Mac OS X version of Windows or Linux, I'll have the, or I'll have the link down below and some other miners that you can use, uh, minor links. Uh, but I already have it here on my desktop, I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it and launch the application hit skip and while that's happening you want to go ahead and double click on the evasion program it'll come up it says please connect your device we're going to go ahead and connect my iPad okay I'm just going to go not for this device all right now if iTunes launches just go ahead and quit it real quickly it's not a big deal <clears throat> all right, so now all you have to do is just click jailbreak, and you just got to give it a second. It's going to be retrieving information. This process normally takes anywhere from three to five, I mean, 10 minutes being max, of course. Uh, it's all an automatic process. If you do run into any kind of problems, though, uh, it's okay for you to just go ahead and force quit the application or, you know, control, delete in Microsoft or Windows and, you know, end the program. Um, but there's nothing bad with doing that. Of course, like I said, if it takes more than 10 minutes, go ahead and do something like that. But right now, I mean, I'm just going to fast forward past the video and you'll be able to see that it's just going to work with no problem. So I'm going to fast forward, okay? Okay, so right now you can see here it says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. All I have to do is just turn on the device, slide to unlock, and you'll see there it says jailbreak. Just go ahead and just tap that app little icon. And what's going to happen is it's going to remount, it's going to shut down, it's going to inject all the things that it needs to do in order to install Cydia. And just give it a second here, and we're going to be back to fast forwarding. All right, so now it's done. It's, it's going to say it's going to restart a few times, but this is normal. 
go ahead and just hit the exit button and you're basically done. That's it. You are now fully jailbroken on any iOS device, whether it be iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, iPad, any generation, anything. It's all jailbreakable up to this point in time, 6.1. You can see here now it's setting up on Cydia, uh, setting up the, uh, pa the packages and everything. It's already ready to go. It's done. Now it's just going to be rebooting it for the last time. And that's it. So what? It's going to go there. Let's let it reboot for a second. And I'll show you by going to Cydia that this is, of course, Cydia for legitimately not a fake or anything like that. Just give it a second and fast forward. Okay. So once you're done there, just go ahead and slide to unlock. You can see there's the Cydia icon, and of course this is running 6.0 still. This is not a new iPad, it's the same one. You can see right there it says 6.1. Go back, and there's Cydia. Of course it's gonna be doing its file, uh, prepare for filing system and everything just like normal, and that's it. And that there is how you jailbreak your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch on any uh, 6.0 iOS from 6.0 to 6.1. So if you liked the video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And again, this has been High Tech Man, signing off.